talk about an overview of the Options Traders template. My main purposes for developing the Option Traders template was to gather information quickly from reliable sources, particularly on the internet, increase my probability of trade success by gathering different types of information about each trade, track my trade details, and make it a lot easier for my tax reporting. So with that said, let's take a look. When you open the Option Traders template, you immediately come to the End User License Agreement. What you'll do is scroll down to the bottom and click the Agree. Okay, and it immediately takes you to the File tab. Here's where you save your file with the ticker symbol. You can also go, you can show your trade backups like that or you can go to the archive section which if you watch the file operations goes through a complete description of the archive process. Next tab is the options pricing. This is for a vertical or calendar position and over here is for a single position. The strategies long call long put straddle strangle by clicking there Further down is the collar the, or the protective put and a covered call. This is a quick covered call and if you want you can transfer the data from here over to the more involved analysis. Here's your vertical trades, bull call, bull put, bear call, bear put. And I like to trade naked puts so I put a naked put evaluation section in here and here is a section for calendars. Now the trading tab is the most important tab in the template. This is where you input all of your trades and you can name them by trade type, put a trade ID, here's where you would put your instrument. This is the expiration and it'll calculate days to expiration, your strike price, statistics about the trade. If you don't want to use some of these you can hide that column. And here's where you put information in about opening the trade and information about closing the trade. And there's other areas where you can set your first expiration month so that you can go back in time and input information. Uh, I use this expected movement for placing a lot of my strikes. Here you can take a look at your investment return on both an absolute and a percentage basis, net position delta and net position theta, cash in and cash out over particular periods, justification notes for your trades, whether you want to exit the trade or not, what your net exit price would be and what the investment return is per trade ID. Up here is where you can export data for tax reporting, file ops and export tax lot information. Now here is the tax lot tab. Here's an earnings movement where you would input all of the dates of earnings, the estimated and actual earnings, and then based on the amount of data you have in your forecast model, it will look up and it'll show you graphically how the stock behaved before and after earnings. A lot of this information can come from your broker, but it can also come from the website for your underline. Here is the forecast tab where you can download from Yahoo Finance the open high low close volume adjusted close by date. Now this can, I only have about 500 rows here, but you can have, end up having 10, 12,000, 15,000 rows of data. Here, this is where you input your start and end dates, how many records have been downloaded. This is where you 
determine your strike based on the current price and how far the stock has moved historically based on current price and the strike that you're considering. And it shows you that graphically here. There's also a Monte Carlo simulation. You input your implied volatility beginning and ending or what your estimate for it would be and beta for the underline. You can run iterations. This will run uh, 1,000 iterations and it will tell you the number of times that the stock movement has ex exceeded your strike price. It's a helpful tool. I use it quite a bit. This is the relative tab where you can download a market index, an ETF, and your underline and then take a look at how it has performed relative to the market and relative to the ETF in which it's contained. Here is the tax export area and this is where once you click your prepare tax form it will put your information over here and you can retrieve it using the tax reporting tool. This is your download area. This is sort of a an open miscellaneous tab. It's not protected but and you can do all kinds of things in here and I'll have a separate video on what I have in here whether you would like to use it or not. Here are the option tax rules and then we're back to the end user license agreement. So that's an overview of the option traders template. If you have any questions please feel free to send me an email at glbcpa at gmail.com or optionstaxguy at gmail.com. Well, thanks for watching, and as always, good trading. Bye.